Philip Kyle with Axiom Equipment. I'm uh, an account manager for Axiom in Eastern Canada, mainly uh, Ontario and Quebec. I'm um, here with you today to talk about the Z series generator. We have with us the Z48, which is 48 kVA. A um, couple of main features on these units are they are 240, 480, 600 volt switchable. They have the built in load bank, 30% load bank, and they are built as a skid mount unit on a DOT certified trailer. These trailers come with electric brakes um, as standard and on the front here we have the part of the cold weather package which is the temperature actuated louvers. So once the temperature inside the canopy reaches 75 degrees those uh, louvers open up automatically allowing the flow through of uh, cold air. Around the side we have, we went with single side doors as you can see which is a convenience for the mainly for the mechanics. It allows them to work on it f without having to um, contend with a cylinder or a column in the middle of the unit. Um, on this side, it's single side service. We have everything can be done from this side. The oil change, the fuel filters, everything is from this side. On these 25, 48, and Z70, we have gone with the Kohler engines and paired it with a McCulty Gen end. Um, as you can see, possibly there's a the built on a saddle system, so it lifts the generator and, and the engine up off the fuel tank, allowing the tank to be slid out the back if there's uh, bad fuel, in, and I'll show that to you in a minute. On the side, you can see we have external fuel tank hookup for a transcube or something similar, and then it's just a two way valve on the inside just to switch over to the external tank. On the back of the unit, we have a deep sea electronics controller with GPS telematics capabilities. Uh, here we've got the on off switch for the controller itself and this green light here indicates that the load bank which I mentioned earlier is activated. We have our convenience outlets on the back here as well which we have 350 amps, 220 amps on this and then we have our three phase lugs along with our remote start hookup right here. The removable fuel tank that I mentioned is right here. There's a grate with six bolts in it. That grate comes off, the fuel tank slides out along with 110% fluid containment. And then on this side here, again, we want the single side door. Uh, one large door and we have internal light which is uh, used for working on at night or fueling up just to help the guys that are working on the units. Um, battery box here, which is fireproof. It's got a trickle charger and a battery blanket, which is part of the cold weather package, along with the circulating heater on the other side. Diagnostics port for working on the engine, our fuses, and our um, disconnect here, which is everything is readily accessible. And then up on the top here is where we have our 240, 480, 600 volt switch and it is lockable, pull out the red button here and it's, it's locked. The 30% load bank is controlled here. In the on position, it automatically activates turning off and on by itself. If it is in the off position, the unit will not, the load bank will not turn on at all. We recommend keeping it in the on position. It saves the engine from wet stacking and carboning up, causing damage to your engine. Thanks for taking a walk around to the Z series generator with me.